yesterday we had taken a look at maestro which was a project that lets you generate fully functional applications with a single prompt and that was by utilizing the new claude 3.5 sonnet large language model now guess what that exact framework was inspired by google's mesop which is a better and solidified framework that enables you to rapidly build delightful web apps quickly and this is with the help of ai in python now, Google just open sourced this framework for internal Python UIs. Just take a look at this example where someone had easily created a text to image, text to text, and a chat UI for this application. It comes with a hot reload, so the browser automatically reloads the previous state. This is something that was built quite quickly with the help of Mesop. And you can see over here, you can generate certain types of images of the earth. You can simply just click on generate and it's going to generate different types of images for you. This is the capability of Mesop and it's something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video as this is something that will help you create front ends as well as various UI components easily with the help of AI and that's by utilizing Gemini's API key. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video as we showcase what you can do with Mesop. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing how you can quickly build web UIs in Python with the help of Google's new Python-based UI framework, which is called Mesop. So what can you actually do? You can see that this is what you can build in less than 10 lines of code. You can see that you can create chat bots, you can create text and image bots. These are all UI components that you can easily create. There's different use cases. You have an LM writer, rewriter. You have a playground that could be created with the help of Mesop. You have various sorts of layouts that you can basically implement. You have different components that you can create. And these are things that you can simply have it code out with the help of Mesop. And the cool thing about this is that you can access demos as well as get a good taste of what this is on Google Colab. So you can try Mesop out on this Google Colab, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And you can see over here that I was able to simply start up the simple chat or build it within Google Colab. And you can see that this was an interface that I was able to create within a couple of seconds by simply just describing what I wanted to create. Now, the great thing is that you can basically transform all of these different animations, all these different types of code snippets, to your own specific need. In this case, you can copy all these different components to your own website that you're going to be building. For example, you can add the transform color code snippet that is basically coding this and simply you can paste this into whatever you are trying to build. You have different animations you can utilize and obviously at the current moment, they're not particularly the best type of animations or the best type of components but something that is under development obviously with the help of the large language model it will soon get better so that's one thing you should definitely keep an eye out so now i'm going to be showcasing how you can actually install mesop on your computer so first things first you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled you need to make sure that you have pip install this is by installing the command over here which i'll leave a link to in the description below Make sure you have Python installed. This is going to be the programming language that we're going to be using. And lastly, make sure you have Git installed. Once you have these three things ready, we can then move forward with installation. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. Now, in this case, they tell you to copy the above example into the main.py file, which you can access through your ID. In this case, I have already pasted this in by simply just copying the code over here for this demo app. And you can simply run this app by typing in Mesop or getting into the directory and just simply typing in main.py. And guys, in the case that you're going to be utilizing this locally, you're going to need to access Gemini Pro's API key. And you can do so by going over to this page, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. 
This is at ai.google.dev and you're going to be able to access the Gemini API keys over here by simply just clicking on get API key. Now, a couple of things that you can see that you can do with this is that you're going to be able to write UI in an automatic Python code. You're going to be able to skip the FE learning curve, ready to use components, which you saw in the demo gallery, where you can simply just copy these snippets and get started with the UI components. You have fast iteration where you're going to be able to hot reload so the browser automatically re reloads and preserves states. You have rich ID support with strong type safety. You have flexible and composable features such as the ability to build custom UIs without writing it with JavaScript, CSS, HTML. And this is something that I saw the creator planning on focusing on where he is planning to make it so that you can auto-generate certain components with the help of the Gemini model. You are going to be able to compose your UI into components, which are just Python functions. And these Python functions could be plugged and played into different sorts of other UIs that you're building. And guys, I truly recommend that you take a look at their docs because you're going to be able to reference different guides, which is going to showcase how you can get started with their API, how you can incorporate other APIs, multi pages, authentication, deployment. And if you are to go to the components, which is a really good feature, you're going to be able to see how you can incorporate all these different components. For example, you can test out the chat component, which it will give you a good example. It will showcase how it will respond back to you. For example, you can respond to it and it will showcase this basic functional, uh, I would say, chat interface. You can copy the code for it. You can have it so that it responds a certain way. You have the API for it. You can go to text to text, which also gives you the same code snippet for building that UI component. There's various other components such as text, you have markdown, you have code, you have image, audio, video, which will not work in this case right now, but you can try it out in the demo gallery. You have different slide toggles, slide bars, you have a progress bar, which we saw, you have different embeddings, you also have animations, which is really cool. And these are things that you can reference within the component section, and this will easily allow you to build your component or your UI framework. One thing to mention is that you're going to be also able to incorporate other large language models. This is obviously with more configuration that you would need to do on your own, but you can configure like models like Rock, Sonnet, as well as many other models so that you can get better UI web generations. This is something that you can do with MESOP and that's basically a rough demonstration as to how you can download this and how you can access the GitHub collab so that you can start generating your own UI components. But with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. This is a great way for you to create and build UIs in Python. But with that thought guys, I'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different subscriptions on a weekly basis completely for free i definitely recommend that you try this out so that you can get all the different types of ai tools at your need you have the twitter page which is completely for free for you to follow so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai updates and news make sure you follow me on my youtube page as well by subscribing turning on the notification bell liking this video as well as my other videos you should definitely take a look at them because there's a lot of content that will definitely benefit you but with that thought guys i definitely thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you follow me on all these different pages so that you can elevate your ai game but with that thought have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas